I like certainty. I like to know things for sure. When things aren't certain, I can feel shaken. If I am not sure of you, what else could I be unsure of? Is this ground stable? Are my thoughts my own? Are my eyes playing tricks on me? My dad says there are a thousand parts of me that I'll do something good with them all someday. He says don't put certain ones all wound up with twine and a top ball for someone else. Don't discard the parts of yourself that they don't need. Stand up for yourself. Respect yourself. That is power. Be done guilting yourself about the ending as if it's your fault. If I can get needles shoved through thick skin and smile, if I can sit through a fresh and swollen jewelry change that has me writhing on the table in pain and dance to my car after, then I can deal with emotional distress. With heartbreak, I can face this world alone. There's a difference between madness and magic. Sometimes it takes a breakdown to see which will rise. Magic does not need to be pruned. It grows wildly and with love around all it surrounds. Madness, if left unchecked, will choke out all you've worked so hard for. Magic will not kill, will not obliterate. Magic does not need your constant watch, but madness does. Do not confuse the two. Even in my sickness and sadness, alone as I sit with it, I feel myself filling up again, my essence stretching out to my fingertips cautiously to live again. Not sure for what, but all in time. It's weird, the passage of time. I still have this sick, wet, primal, indescribable fear that permeates reality and makes me feel pointless and powerless. Like the ropes that once bound me have been cut and now my limbs are all over the ground. And I have to see it all and put myself back together again. You do not have to let people burn their names in your skin. You are not a memorial. You are a human being. It is their job to secure their own legacy. If it comes at the cost of your freedom, it is not love. It is not commitment. It is sickness. You are allowed to forget.